Chinatown on a dark night in Sin City, but on the second floor of a run-down building somewhere in the Forbidden City, one down-and-out ex-private eye is still trying to unlock the secrets of Pot Limit Omaha poker. Mills Jacko, Private Eye Noir. <laughs> It was mid-September in Sin City, and just as the temperatures were cooling down, word on the street was that Miami John was in town and was looking for some hot PLO action. And I knew exactly where to find him. A local casino with a Cajun character. So I bummed a ride to the casino with my landlady, Jade Dragon. I borrowed a C-note from her, and she mumbled a few words in Cantonese that sounded a little like break a leg or a neck or something to that effect. I was off to a good start. All the degenerates were already in their seats, and the cards were in the air. My first table, I took a bad beat right off the get-go. I was up against a heavy breather, a slightly overweight young gentleman who would breathe Heavy every time he had a good hand. I knew exactly where I was when I hit my middle set. I had a set of nines. And I also had a ten blocker. I was in the ten seat. I checked the big blind and we saw the flop four-handed. The guy in the one seat flopped bottom set. Set of fours. I checked. He potted it. We got the guy in the middle position with a wrap. With no flush draw, he calls the pot bet, and I repotted it. I had him right where I wanted him. I knew that nobody had a set of tens. I had a blocker. I had the top set of nines. I knew the one seat had a set of fours, and I knew the middle guy, the heavy breather. He had no flush draw. He could only get lucky with a straight on the river. That was his only shot in hell. But this is Sin City, and the heavy breather hit his paint, a face card to complete his rap. His breathing slowed down a bit, and it was time for Plan B. Grind it back. I happened to look over at the main table, number one, and Miami John was cleaning them up. I would have to be on my A game and grind it back fast if I wanted to make the final table and have a crack at busting Miami John. The games in Florida may be hot, but in Vegas we play to the spot. So I sat back and picked my spots carefully. I hit two sets and made a big bet. The best hand won. And also my aces held up. And congratulations, you made the final table. Easy game. My final table game plan was simple. Miami John liked to run the game over with a razzle-dazzle world-class play. I would just sit back and wait for aces double-suited, limp in, set the trap, and then send champion John back to Miami with a little less cashola than he came with. My plan was working like clockwork. Miami John was sitting two seats to my left. I had him in perfect position to set my trap. So I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited. And while I waited, a young gun took Miami out with a double gutter wrap to downtown Broadway and a Coupe de Ville to boot. <laughs> Well, Miami John was gone. He was out in ninth place, and as I waited, my chips had dwindled down. I looked down at the small blind. I only had about 7,500, and I had a pair of ducks, so I was tired of waiting. I put my 7,500 in. We went three ways at this pot, and lucky for me, I hit a set of deuces and tripled up. I now had close to 25,000. And you guessed it, now I finally got my aces. 
So, two hands after Miami's gone, I finally got my pocket rockets with a couple little guys to spin a wheel. I get two collars. One guy has pocket fours, but he only has $900. He's all in. He's short. Remember Heavy Breather? Yeah, the guy that put a bad beat on me the first hand. Well, Heavy Breather has me covered, and he picked up pocket jacks. He calls my 24900 I'm finally in a position to take this tournament down. All I have to do is fade a pair of jacks and his pathetic little flush draw, and I'm in the winner's circle. Well, after heavy breather hits his flush draw on the river, his breathing goes back to normal, and I'm out in number seven, in seventh place. Hard to believe a pathetic backdoor club flush busted my aces. And now I'm walking back to Chinatown for some better scenery. Mills Jacko, Private Eye Noir, PLO Extraordinaire. <laughs>